I was asked recently by a viewer that would it be possible to change your current IP address in FreeBSD, say for instance one set by DHCP, to a more static IP, or change the IP in general. Well, one way to do it is uh, to set it in rc.conf. But first, if you have a look at ifconfig, and it will tell you what your current IP is, and it's in this case it's 192.168.1104, and if you wanted to change that uh, for whatever reason or change it from DHCP issued one, the best way to do it is to have a look at your rc.conf. The thing that you need to change or the things that you need to actually insert uh, is if it's already set by DHCP, you might want to comment that out because really you don't get a say unless you configure it to be that way. You don't get a say in what IP you get. Make sure you've got a host name set and to either insert or change the ifconfig line and make sure you've got default router uh, defined. So we're just going to check the host name. If you want to change the host name, you can change it in rc.conf or you can change it on the fly. If you want to change it on the fly, uh, which won't survive a uh, reboot, but just going to show it for demonstration purposes, you put host name hello. And you can see it will change from Mars to Hello. If you want that to be permanent, of course, you uh, add it to the rc.conf and you go down to the host name there. And you could change that to whatever you wanted, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And to change to a static IP or to change your IP, you could just change, as I'm showing you there, just change in one digit at the end. And having changed it, in this case we haven't, but having changed it to the one that you wanted, save, and then you issue a service net if restart. Notes changed in this particular example because I want to keep things as they are. I don't want to mess things up for myself. And next you do a service. If you define or change your uh, default router, then restart. And you should be good to go. There may be better ways to do it than this. Uh, this is the way that I've done it in the past. And it works for me every time. So hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.